today I'm going to be reviewing the Eribibi Gusano. So, it is a pepper from Eribibi in Bolivia. Again, got these from Mart. Got several. Um, I don't know if you can see all those without me dumping them on the table. But anyway, it's supposed to be like a habanero heat. Uh, sweet, maybe citrus, I don't know. Gonna find out by uh, just eating it. It's pretty dark outside, so I'm hoping the lighting comes through. That's the benefit of a, a phone for recording because if I was using my camera, it, it would just, it would be way too blurry or noisy or just underexposed. So anyway, this is gonna be Ribibi Gusano. Only sounds cool if I say it the way it's supposed to. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open, not that there's gonna be much visible. So very, uh, I mean, the walls aren't too, they're kind of medium walls for this size of a pepper. Um, these seeds are a little dark, but I don't, I'm just gonna eat it. Let's see if you can see that. But anyway, here goes nothing. Well, very citrusy, I will admit. So very citrusy, uh, a little bit of floral, nothing too crazy, just your average tenants flavor. These are, I believe, capsicum, capsicum, capsicum chinins. The throat burn is making me tongue twist here. Uh, so the heat for me is like a, like a two, but they're not bad. Uh, they, they weren't super, super seedy which is good because usually with small peppers you can get really seedy. They can just be real seed dense and they can just make them taste really bitter. This wasn't bitter. Uh, it's actually kind of a refreshing taste. And if you have the tolerance, you could totally snack on them. Um, yeah, they're pretty pretty delicious peppers. <clears throat> if you had the patience, these I would, I would just skip the de-seeding part and I would just dehydrate like the whole stock. I'd rip the stems off and I would just dehydrate them in bulk. Uh, they, they'd make a good, uh, powder obviously but you could probably do something cool with like a um like a salt you know like you have reaper salt maruga salt you could do a salt with these uh, i think they would add a little bit of heat and you wouldn't have to put something like a uh, lime or something in your seasoning because these are really citrusy i think they would kind of give off that a uh, citrus acidic flavor that you would kind of look for if you were to add like a lemon or a lime component into your seasoning but anyway uh, that's really what I would use it for. I wouldn't probably use these in a sauce. They're just too small. I mean, I guess if you got a bunch of them, uh, you could. But they're just, you know, nice little bite-sized pepper. Uh, definitely can catch you off guard if you, you aren't like, your tolerance isn't, you know, through the roof or something. I believe they're around habanero heat is what they're supposed to be. <sighs> um, me, personally, it tastes more like a cayenne heat. But cayennes have more of a bite to their heat whereas uh i know a lot of those habanero ish habanero ish type of chinins they either sting like habaneros or they just have a like a abrupt burn and then it this it descends pretty quickly pretty short-lived um but all right well that's pretty much it that's arribibi gusano i don't know why i'm saying it in like an italian accent when it's actually spanish but I can roll the R's in that, in that accent better, so that's what we're going with. All right, well, thanks for watching.